Over the course of the last week, I've had many occasions to explain to friends and congregants one particular issue. Before I get to that particular issue, I want to remind us all that every casualty in this conflict is the sole responsibility of Hamas. Hamas has it within its power to surrender and to end all of the misery and the suffering of the innocent Palestinians in Gaza, as well as the innocent Israelis. That they don't do that is not our fault or our responsibility. They have the capacity to surrender, and that is the only thing that will bring this war to an immediate halt. Because there is only one cause for this war, and that is Hamas's rejection of a two-state solution, because in Hamas's Islamist ideology, there can only be one state, and that is an Islamist state. And they say repeatedly, and they say consistently, that Israel should be wiped off the face of the earth. That is the cause of this war. And we should not confuse the many possible occasions for why this war is happening at this particular moment with the ultimate cause of the war, which is Hamas's rejection of a Jewish state anywhere in the land of Dar al-Islam, the abode of Islam, where the Muslims once had political sovereignty. The question that keeps coming up in conversations is why are there still refugee camps in Gaza? Israel pulled out of Gaza in 2005. In the intervening 18 years, why hasn't Hamas used the billions and billions of dollars in international aid to settle their population in houses and outside of these dense and squalid, in many cases, refugee camps. The reason that they don't resettle the refugee camp population is because their aim is to eliminate Israel. And so by keeping their own people in these refugee camps, they maintain the anger and the frustration of the people and hope that that anger and frustration will be directed towards the Israelis who have blockaded, along with Egypt, the Gaza Strip since Hamas came into power in 2006. Even with that blockade, we see that Hamas has been able to import, to smuggle in missiles and bombs, as well as material that has enabled them to build, according to their own spokespeople in 2021, over 300 miles of tunnels underneath Gaza that the Israelis call the Metro. Inside these 300 miles of tunnels are manufacturing plants for bombs and missiles and other war material that have been used against Israel in these atrocities, in these barbaric atrocities that we have seen perpetrated since October 7th. Those billions and billions of dollars could have been used for peaceful purposes, for purposes of bettering the lives of the Palestinians, but that is not the primary goal of Hamas. And in order to successfully conclude this campaign, Israel will need to eliminate Hamas's capability of continuing to terrorize Israel's population. It is with that in mind that I have included a link to an important article by Yehuda Kurtzer at the bottom of this video. I want to invite everyone to AJ on Shabbat tomorrow. After services, we'll have lunch and we will have an opportunity to hear from four different organizations. Um, uh, the American Friends of Ben Gurion University, Naamat, Hadassah, and Magen Davida Dome to hear about what is going on from their organizations in Israel, as well as to hear from two of our own congregants who have children and grandchildren 
living in Israel. So I wish everyone strength and resolve, chazak ve'ematz, and Shabbat Shalom.